Hey, beautiful friends, it's Erica. So yesterday I was in one of my twice a week intensive channeling sessions with my team and I was shown a really beautiful vision that I wanted to share with you and with the collective because I felt like it was a really beautiful illustration of a very important concept about intuition, manifestation, and how the divine works in this capacity. And I know many of you guys may be experiencing this right now. You may be wondering about it. Um, and it has to do with when we keep getting guidance and we keep getting visions and we keep getting spirit showing us a certain quote unquote manifestation or at least a direction. And we continually get the guidance of keep going, keep following the guidance. But when we ask for specifics, like, hey, can you show me more detail about, you know, how, what, when, why, especially the when, that's what a lot of you guys try to do, um, which we know I don't, you know, when is like the most impossible thing to predict, right? For anything, because everything is not on our timeline. But so often it's like we're given a direction, we're given guidance, but we're not given even the most adept channelers and people who are really attuned to their guidance won't get really specifics until a very important point. And what I was shown was an airplane flying at night. And I was shown you're a passenger on an airplane. It's nighttime. You're flying across the country and you know, you're going to a destination you know that there is a pilot who is flying the plane, AKA Spirit, right? This is Spirit Airlines, although don't ever fly <laughs> that airline. They are the worst of the worst of the worst. And I have no problem saying that. Um, and I know those of you guys that know what I've talked about are laughing right now too. Um, but Spirit is, got, if Spirit is flying the plane and you are a passenger, you're trusting that spirit is guiding you, knowing how to fly the plane, knowing how to get to where you're going. And while you are not in charge of the, the journey, you are on the journey. And you're going along, you're going along and you're, you know, reading your book, you're watching your movie, you're talking to who you're flying with, whatever. And then eventually spirit the, the the pilot comes on and says, okay, guys, we're getting ready to approach, you know, get ready, prepared. We're going to be landing soon. And so you get this announcement and you look out the window and everything's still pitch black. You can't really see anything because little do you know, you are flying over cloud cover. Okay. So you're, you're not seeing anything. It's just pure black out the window. And so you're going along, you're going along and you're starting to prepare. And so spirit starts giving you messages of get, get prepared. We're getting ready for landing. And you're like, gosh, darn it. You know, we've been, in, we've been getting ready to, we've been going for a long time. Well, okay. Well now we're getting a little message that we're getting closer to our destination. So you sort of start getting prepared and you're getting prepared. And how many of you have been in that place where you're like, yay, we're landing. And then it's another 25 minutes of descent. <laughs> you're like, I thought we were landing in like five minutes. What is this, you know, half hour, 25 minutes when we start descending, right? And then you feel like this is taking way longer, but okay, I know at least we're landing. So spirit keeps giving you, it's like, and then they get quiet, right? They've already told you they're landing, you're landing, but you're still going, well, when are we actually landing? I can feel the plane going down. She can't, still can't see anything out the window. And then there's that moment where suddenly, you're descending, descending, sending. Meanwhile, you're going through clouds, but you don't know it. And how many of you this summer, and again, this is not specific time frame, but I'm recording this in August of 2022. But how many of you this summer have felt like you've been in cloud cover? Many of you. And it has to do with the influence of Neptune and a bunch of other planetary alignments. But, and the next thing you know, you broke, you break free and you look out the window and it was black one second. And the next second, it's like, boom, suddenly you can see lights. You can see buildings, you can see land. And it's almost instantaneous where, and so 
what spirit's been doing recently for many of you is you may suddenly be getting more specifics where their spirit and your guidance is showing you specific manifestations, more details about where you're going, where you're landing. And you might be going like, wait a second, how come I haven't seen anything all throughout? Because I know, you know, there there is that point, especially as you're getting closer to the actual manifestation in the 3D, you will start getting more signs and more visions of seeing it because you're getting closer to it. Because we know in the higher dimensions and the fifth dimension and higher, everything is already manifested. It is everything and everything and all the knowledge and there is no time in the fifth dimension. But when you start getting the visions in the third dimension, which is connecting through the fourth dimension into the third, you're going to start getting visions. And I'd love to hear from you guys if you've been experiencing this, because this has certainly been happening um, in my inner circle here in my world. And spirit showed me this, this vision to help show you guys. So as you're approaching at first, you see lights because you're down beneath the cloud cover, but you're still not super close to the ground. So you see lights, you see little cars moving, but as you get closer and closer to the earth, you start seeing more detail. You start to see the street lights. You start to see the headlights of the cars driving down the road. You start to see billboards and you can even read the words on the billboards and as you're getting closer and closer to landing on the ground you see more and more and more and more detail and then boom you land you touch down it's a little like jarring when you do that <laughs> and everybody claps right and that always cracks me up when people clap when you land a plane like oh thank god we're not dead anyway um but to me this was so relevant when it comes to understanding manifestation and trusting in the guidance, there is a point where you're going to start getting more details. Now you might start to question the visions you're getting. Like, wait, why are you suddenly showing me this? I must be imagining it. I must be imagining it. Well, just pay attention and track and continue to ask, continue to in your sessions or in your own meditations Ask your guides to continue to show you. Please show me. But they'll show you when it's time, when you're really approaching the manifestation. Because remember, visualization and emotion, this is Law of Attraction 101, guys, creates manifestation. And so if they're showing you a vision and it's consistent and it keeps getting more and more and more specific, it's only a matter of time until you touch down and you hit and you hit land and then you get to clap. So my friends, I'd love to hear from you if you've been experiencing this recently um, in your journeys. And I hope that this has been helpful. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. It's a way to give back to my channel if you find my videos valuable. And stay tuned. I do have a number of things I will be announcing soon that I've been working on behind the scenes. And I send you guys so much love and happy flying until next time. Bye.